Any guesses as to why Liz is up so early Wednesday morning at the crack of dawn having her coffee? All dressed and nowhere to go. Any guesses? It's just after 7 o'clock in the morning. I got showered and cleaned up. Hubby is in the kitchen making eggs and bacon and we have a busy day so I thought let's get this video kicked out and edited so I can send it off to you. Uh, but anyway, today we are going to be decorating this beautiful piece I got right before Christmas from a place called the Vintage Antique Shop. I absolutely love this piece. It's it's rustic. It's got the ironwork on it. And um, we're going to be concealing all of that because I just, I can't. I need pretty things to look at and that certainly isn't pretty. But we're going to be able to get our hand behind it to turn lights on. So... Anyway, let's make it cozy, wintry, with a splash of Valentine's Day. So real quick, here's the piece we're going to be working on. I've already got an extension cord on the table, but I want to show you these beautiful colors on the top of it. I really love it. Green is my favorite color in all shades. And look at the detail on the side. It's distressed and chippy and... I love it. It just gives a piece character. So during Christmas, I shared with you this piece and the two pieces I got from the vintage antique shop. I didn't do a decorate with me. It was sort of like, this is what I did. So I'm going to do a decorate with me and I'm going to show you everything step by step. I know step. a lot of you were going to say, I forgot to mention this. Um, Liz, don't cover the thermostat. My husband got these. We had these at our other house. These are awesome. So awesome. I highly, highly recommend replacing out your old ones for these. They're, they're called a, th a smart thermostat and it's, it learns your behavior for heating and cooling the house. It's very efficient. You ha will hardly ever have to touch it. So me covering that, it's not going to be a problem. I promise. This also comes with a remote sensor, so you can put them in different parts of the house and it, it just really balances out the heating and cooling very efficiently. I'll see if I can link it below. If you're interested, you can go look at all the details and what it does, but Echo B3 light smart thermostat. Again, highly recommend. You can do a self-installation or you can hire an electrician and they can go install them all over your house. But my husband um, is going to do it himself. He says it's not too hard. Now you guys know I'm all about the layering process because I think layering pieces gives, gives your displays character. So we're going to start out with this piece. As the little blue fly would say. A lot of chippy goodness on this. Love it. I'll be back in a flash. Hubby made breakfast. It looks awfully good. So my husband hired a contractor to build an outdoor barbecue for him. And, uh, I don't know, a month and a half later, he finally decides to show up and get to work. <laughs> Yesterday, and he's coming back today. Yep, and they had to lay uh, carpets out on all the flooring and they've been going back and forth with wood from the front of the house to the back deck. I thought, I, I was gonna video yesterday and I was like, oh, well there goes that idea. I got all dressed and ready to film and I had company and they're coming back. So I thought I better get up early and get this video done or it, it's not gonna happen. Hey, I'm not complaining, better late than never, right? I mean, Anyway, hubby is getting a high-end barbecue, and the way they're going to construct it is we actually are repurposing the granite that was in this kitchen prior, the, the brownish granite, because I actually thought it was really pretty, and it cleans up beautifully. So the guy designed the way the barbecue is going to look. We're going to have kitchen granite out there as a part of the build and the gentleman talked us into using rough cut oak. And I guess the cool thing about it is he says you can you can stain it or you can leave it and over time it um, has this natural beautiful patina. So I'll have to see how it looks but 
he swears this stuff is just amazing. So the wood we're going to use is going to go along with the style of the house. It's going to be, like I said, rough cut, rustic. Um, and then you're going to have the big stainless steel barbecue on top. We're going to do some cool hinges, a built-in trash can um, with the granite on both sides. So, and it's going to be... It's going to be cool. If I can go out there later this morning when the sun comes up, I'll try to take a picture. He's got part of it built. Uh, more on this later. By the way, many of you have asked me about these cute little mugs. I'll link them below. Now I'm going to go in with this mirror. My daughters got this for me at, at home. So you can see I've got the outline of this arch well showcased and then I've added this beautiful mirror with a layering effect. It is covering the thermostat and it, it has not interf interfered with the heating and cooling. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm now gonna cover this with a little Christmas tree, a cashmere Christmas tree. And I'm seriously considering leaving it up year round and decorating it seasonally. I don't know, we'll see, but I still want a wintry look and feel. So the Christmas tree is gonna go there and then we're gonna fill in on the table. Stay tuned. I also wanna point out that I think this is really the latest greatest range everywhere i go into these beautiful stores they are layering a mirror with an arched piece um so i really when i when you guys see what this looks like done i think you will you will like it i know some people it it's not for them it's like too busy but for a girl that likes her stuff this is going to work out just great now we still have a few cool months ahead of us so you know what, I'm keeping the glimmer and the prettiness of Christmas and winter here alive on this table. Let's plug it in. So you can see what it looks like, um, but do I dare add some red lights for Valentine's Day? I, I love the way it looks just as is, but should we spice it up? Why not? Let's try it. If we don't like it, we just won't use them. Let's see what they look like. I mean, I really don't want it to look Christmassy, but I think if I throw in some Valentine's Day ornaments, you'll get the, oh, it's a white cord. Sort of subtle. I may add one more box. I I have three boxes. I'm not going to use three, but let's try. I don't know one more little box and see how it looks. What do you think? I think it's cute. So I have this cute little garland that I found at Michaels, and I'm going to wrap. I have two of them, so I'm going to wrap one on the bottom, one on the top. <music> One more. I think it looks pretty cute. It's got splashes of red, pink, and white. And uh, what should we do next? Michaels had these 70% off. And I thought these looked perfect for Valentine's Day, like little pom-poms. So I might put these strategically through the tree. I have some more. Yeah. 
these were also 70% off at Michael's. So I thought I would kind of take, these are really cute. They're pink and like burgundy. And I think these will look cute. And some are just flat pink, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna stick these in. This will give it texture and dimension. Check out this cute ribbon they have at Michael's. The buffalo check with glittered hearts. I may try to just kind of weave that in the tree. I don't think I'm going to do a bow or anything fancy like that. I just want it to be a splash of Valentine's Day. I want you to, when anyone enters the house, to go, oh, that's a Valentine's Day tree, not a Christmas tree. they had these cute little hearts super super cute and this one and um, I'm gonna hang these right on the front so I've got one two three and then I have these cute little heart ornaments in red and pink also for Michaels they don't have the hangers and everything's packed away, so I don't know what I'm going to do. So if I want to hang these cute little hearts, um, I'm going to have to go get hangers. So this is as far as I'm going to get on this tree today. Now let's fill in on the table. And you know what? If I want to leave it like that, it's perfectly fine. It's just a splash of Valentine's Day. I'm kind of okay with that. So... I might use these like as a bowl filler, like in a hurricane vase or a big glass cylinder. That'd be cute. Next up, I have this table runner that I got from Home Goods last year. And I like it because it's got this like shaggy detail on it. I'm gonna wrap this around the tree and use it as my tree skirt. skirt done next I found this beautiful lamp on Amazon I'll link it below if you like it and I put a big Edison bulb in it and I'm gonna plug it in and now I can conceal this under this Ta-da! Already it looks adorbs, but what I'm gonna go in with next is two resin deer. Why? Because it's still winter and they'll fit right in, especially in a log home. So what I'm gonna do is place everything and then I'm gonna go in with greenery and we will call it done. All right, now that we've got the deer placed, I'm gonna go in with these two rustic candle holders with my LED flameless flickering candles. I'm gonna put one there and one there and then fill in with greenery. I think 
this is just a beautiful display, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go in with my favorite greenery garland from Hobby Lobby. It's regularly priced $39.99. Don't get it when it's $39.99, go when it's 50% off, much more affordable. Why am I gonna add this? I am going to add it because the green cashmere tree, well, this will tie in with it. It'll add some more texture and kind of fill in the bare spots. Let's do it. So just when I thought I was done, she goes in with more stuff. What am I gonna go in with? These really pretty bendable wire branches. I have found these on Amazon and I am in love. I have literally ordered, I don't know, four or five packages. I've used all of them, but this one. And just to add a rustic feel or touch, let's add some branches in to make it look more authentic. You guys are gonna love these. So you take them out of the packages. I love curly willow branches, but let's just be honest, they're a pain in the you know what to work with and they make a god awful mess. So when I take these out, it's wire, but it looks very realistic. And all I do is just kind of separate the branches and then I kind of bend them and make them look like a real branch like this, and you can bend them in your displays. They're, they're awesome. I, I'm gonna be adding these all the time. I love them that much. But what if I put, kind of incorporate those in to the greenery? Each package comes with five branches. So this is a tough one. Do I, I just stuck one in the tree to see if I would like it. Hold on a second. I kind of like it in the tree. So can you see the branch in the tree? I really like it. Hmm. Or do I go right here in with some branches? I'll have to go see if I have another pack. I don't think I do. I think this is my last one. Gosh darn it. And it may just have to go in the tree. I think I really like it. I ran and checked. This is my last bag. So I think I'm going to opt to put these in the tree. I just real I just think it looks cool. I may just have a resolution to the ornament hanging problem. I might be able to stick a branch through here like that and hang them in the tree that way. That is so cute. You could even put this in a vase, hang a couple hearts off the branches, and you've got a cute table display. Let's try a red one now. Love this idea. I'm gonna stick one in the tree just to see what it would look like. Right, you guys problem solved I I'm in so I'm so in love with this tree I think it's completely different than anything I've done before the best part it's simple it's not expensive to do and it gets the point across it's Valentine's Day it's a Valentine's Day tree so we use this table runner for our tree skirt we added these cute little hearts from Michaels and we use these wire branches from Amazon to hang our hearts from the tree. And I think it's absolutely adorable. I could have gone all out, you know, adding more ornaments and stuff, but um, it's cute, it's simple, it gets the point across.
going to wrap up my video for today. I hope you like my splash of Valentine's Day here on this table and my little winter feel. Now, I've had a lot of people asking me, what do I put in my hair to make it shiny? Obviously, it's color treated. It's dry as can be. And this is my savior. It's this product right here. And it's a 10. I will link them below. And uh, if you like them, try them out. See, I just want to show you. This is really my favorite one. See my hair? It makes it nice and shiny. Now, you don't want to spray it real close to your hair or, or you'll look like you have oily hair. So spray it far away and uh, makes it shiny. This is my favorite product. This one I like too. I bought it and I, it's so cold this won't work. So I have to run it under hot water to get it to spray. And this is way more expensive. So I, I like this one. It's cheap and it does the trick. All right, my sweet friends, have a good one and I'll see you Friday. Mwah. Bye guys.